Good morning and welcome to News and Coffee Time brought to you by Intrieste.com. We'll be reading the headlines and we'll pick up in English daily. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and follow us along. We're skipping over the national news and all in concentrating on the local TSS headlines. We're bringing you local news one day at a time. The front page of El Piccolo reads, the government is trying to defend ward's law workers. A few first pages are dedicated to Omar Monastier, passed away on Sunday, director of El Piccolo and Messaggero Veneto. Here's he, his with Mattarelli, who sent him all, his family a letter. His funeral will be held in Belluno tomorrow, Thursday at The government is activating uh, and trying to help the 400 workers that might be laid off by Warzola in Trieste, uh, trying to put pressure on the Finnish group. Uh, Sala Ripkovic to be demolished by the end, demolished by the end of the year. As you know, there's some structural discrepancy. It needs to be it needs to be demolished. Largo Sonino will get a new bike sharing station. Via Marchesetti will get pedestrian walk. A pedestrian walk. Uh, apartments that were allegedly used for tourists were actually used for prostitution, says in Piccolo. From Germany to Via Battisti, um, Pico launched this new Tristini thing, which is basically expats in Trieste, and here's Wolf, and his story from Germany to Via Battisti to get back to his roots. Less than 200 passengers, the summer bus in Muja. Garden Under the Stars uh, this August in Giardino Publico shows freaks out as many as well as other other great movies culture section in today's El Pico Gabriele Belli Italy is the place of complete bureaucracy and art is considered zero Elisa uh, a, a famous singer from Mol Falcone became famous all over Italy uh, tomorrow in Palma. Weather forecast is going to be nice and sunny today again with highs in 32 degrees Celsius. This was News and Coffee Time brought to you by Thank you for listening.